Dev Patel is bringing the sauce this time around. This movie is full of juice. Monkey Man is the directorial debut by Dev Patel. This is Dev Patel's attempt at making a revenge movie. It wears a lot of influences on its sleeve and that's a good thing. I don't want to spoil anything for Monkey Man, just know it's a revenge movie. I actually have a decent amount of notes on this film, I really did enjoy it, there are some problems I had, but let's get into it. This film feels like a love letter to so many different things. It feels like a love letter to his culture, it feels like a love letter to Hong Kong cinema. One of the most attractive things about this movie overall is just that you can tell there's a lot of passion behind the film. When you read articles about how long Dev Patel's been making this film, it shows. Swollen foot syndrome, big, big foot. So that to cut open my shoes so I could carry on going and then um, broke, broke the hand in the first fight scene. Yeah, sure, there are signs that a first time filmmaker made this film, but there's nothing so appalling where you're just like, wow, I can't watch this. No major film sins or anything like that. I thought most of the choices in this movie were very inspired. I thought the music choices were very interesting in this film, and I love the sound design that goes along with it. One of the first needle drops in the movie is a jid needle drop, and it puts you in the mood so quickly. It's also a scene that's fueled with a lot of energy and this is throughout the film as well. This film really never stops. It's full speed ahead for about two hours. It's kind of like my only problem with everything everywhere all at once. It's not that long of a movie, but it's so non-stop with its pace that it feels kind of long at times. Monkey Man felt like that sometimes, but it's about 20 minutes shorter than everything everywhere, so it never really got out of hand. I'm very impressed by how he nails the pace as a first-time filmmaker. I was most shocked by the brutality of this film. I love a good proletariat rise up. This gets compared to John Wick a Lot, and it even gets referred to in the movie. What this reminded me about more was Old Boy, mostly because of how ruthless Dev Patel's character is to get revenge. It's all he wants. Those big fight scenes, we only had three breakaway wooden tables. You three. Know? So like, you, I'd do this crazy scene, I'd throw a bad guy onto a table, and then I'd be like, cut! And then like, we'd be on the floor on our hands and knees. Everyone's trying to find a piece of wood <laughs> and we're gluing it together to do take two. The editing is fun and maybe it's a little bit jarring at times, but it mostly hits. The way the old montages are cut up and slowly revealed to us are done pretty well. Revenge films most importantly need to show you why these characters want revenge. Do you remember me? Even on my mother's day. The scene that shows us why he wants revenge is so emotionally tough to watch. It's very political, it's full of a lot of culture, I really did enjoy this film. This movie is also just constantly charged with energy. He's made something closer to Hong Kong cinema than John Wick. The action is just spectacular and yeah, it's so gruesome. I know I already said that, but gee whiz, dude, it's so gruesome. People won't realize that this, I think, is one of the last sort of pre-COVID, inter-COVID shot films because it's now 2024 I know. and you were doing this in a bubble yeah, and you must have been living just in each other's pockets all day long. Nine months I was on this island. Nine months? Nine months. It maybe feels a little dense at times, but for the most part, with the pace, everything works. The blood, the sweat, the tears, this is everything that needs to work for a revenge film. And it's all right here, in Monkey Man. Dudes just love monkeys, man. I've always been a fan of Dev Patel, but I see him in a new light after making something like this. A true passion project that needs more people watching this. There's a lot of good movies out this weekend, like The First Omen and a lot of other stuff too. At least try to go see monkey man guys i'll see y'all later